There was once a little boy named Luis who spent most of his time reading all kinds of books. He was a curious little boy and wanted to know many things. Luis's favorite book was a huge violet one which contained secret stories about enchanted creatures of the Philippines. One day, Luis read the book under a huge baleta tree. The baleta tree had strange twisting branches from which enchanted creatures were believed to emerge. Now, the book was very interesting indeed. As he read, Luis met each enchanted creature in his mind. One such creature was the capre. The capre is a big and ugly creature that smokes an enormous cigar. The capre smoke can cause you to lose your way home. You can even be buried alive by its ashes if you are not careful. This is possible because the capre's legs can easily be mistaken for the baleta tree in which it hides. The tianak was another creature to beware of. It appears as a crying baby lost in the forest. If you should stop and ask why the baby is crying, the tianak immediately grabs you with its sharp claws and eats you up. Yes, the tianak is indeed a hungry little monster. Another enchanted creature was the tikbalang, which has the face of a horse and the body of a man. When the moon is full, it sits in the baleta tree awaiting its victim. The tikbalang eats anyone that passes under the tree in just one gulp. Then, of course, there was the aswang, which is a horrible witch with magical powers. The aswang fools people by disguising itself as an animal. It steals chicken and pigs from nearby farms and frightens people with its ugliness and magical powers. The Nuno Sapunso was an old creature that lives under a mound of soil. In passing any mound of soil, you have to excuse yourself and greet the unseen Nuno to show respect, or else it will cast an evil spell on you to show its anger. Finally, there was the Batibat, a snake-like creature that lives in the trees. The good Batibat guides and watches over travelers at night with its strange silence. Night had quietly fallen as Luis finished reading. The moon was full and strange shadows fell across the forest. Hungry for dinner, Luis began to walk home. Suddenly, the book flew from his hand and lay open on the ground. It must be the wind, whispered the frightened little boy though there was not even the slightest breeze in the air. Luis bravely peered into the book, and from its pages emerged the six enchanted creatures. Greetings from the underworld, said the majestic Tikbalang. We have been asked to prove you the greatness of our powers. This can't be true, cried Luis. I must be dreaming! If you can't believe it, then we are prepared to show you a little demonstration, are we not? Said the Nunu. Yes! Shrieked the creatures. Luis was too shocked to move. He just stood there, open-mouthed. Relax! The Capre consoled him. Here, share a cigar with me. You wouldn't have a match on you by any chance, would you? Luckily, Luis did and handed it to the Capre. But as it puffed, it began to cough. My mom has been telling me to quit smoking. <coughs> I really should. <coughs> the Capre's cough woke the sleeping Tianak and it began to cry. And oh baby, did it truly cry. <coughs> wailed the baby Tianak with feeling. Stop it! shouted the angry Tikbalang. We are here to prove our powers, not to look like fools. What will Luis think of us now? Stop it! I say, stop it! Ah! Answered the Tianak, which meant 
I can't! By this time, the Batibat wanted to leave the tree to comfort the Tiana. But it found itself stuck in the tree because it had eaten too much for dinner. Meanwhile, the Asuwang clung onto the tree because it was afraid of all the noise and the dark. Poor Aswang. Luis could no longer contain his laughter. What a funny bunch of creatures! Excuse me, sir, he said to Danuno. But can you... Don't bother me now, son, replied Danuno. Powers to show? What powers? I should remember. Remember what? What? I forgot! This was absolutely and extremely ridiculous. The Capre continued coughing. The Tianak went on crying. The Tikbalang shouted angrily. The Batibat was still stuck. The Aswang trembled in fear. And the Nuno continued to forget. Only Louise laughed. As dawn neared, the creatures grew quiet. Please, Louise, they begged. Do not tell a soul of our real nature. People need to be frightened of us. If you are able to keep this a secret, we will send you a gift. So, Luis grew up to be a young man. He had been able to keep his encounter with the enchanted creatures a secret. And, as most young men do, Luis eventually fell in love with a young woman. It was only on Luis's wedding day that he realized that his young bride coughed in the company of smokers, easily cried, angered quickly, ate a lot, feared the dark, and was hopelessly forgetful. Could it be? No, it couldn't. It couldn't be, but it was. As a matter of fact, she was. Luis's bride-to-be was the gift that the enchanted creatures promised. And she knew about it. See? Louise and the Enchanted Creatures Story and Illustrations by Marcy Dance Lee